food activism. Well, food activism for me is the to is, is that, but it's, it's, it's the many other things as well. You know, I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, which is, you know, known before it was the, the hood. And I have a lot of family members that live in, in areas like that where grocery stores are not for another five miles, which that makes it difficult to get to. And these areas are called food swamps, food deserts. That's what the term that we use to describe them. Cities changed in the 70s and 80s, and it wasn't just white flight and businesses leaving that impacted inner cities. It was also health left. You were left with liquor stores and fast food places and, you know, corner grocery stores that didn't have the healthiest of options. But man, did it have a lot of meat, did it have a lot of processed stuff, did it have a lot of uh, fried stuff on every other corner. A lot of times kids haven't eaten, so they go to the first thing that's available. Cookies, sandwiches, you know, fast food or whatever's available. Their first mindset isn't to go eat something, you know, healthy. A lot of people who live in, in communities like that don't know what fruits and vegetables are, so they're not going to eat what they don't know. And another thing is because of subsidies, you know, a head of lettuce costs more than a, a Whopper. You know, which doesn't make any sense when you break it like down. You're comfortable with what you know. I can throw some oxtails in the crock pot, let it cook all night, and wake up to the smell. That's that's what you grew up on. That's what you know. So to now say, take those greens and don't put the salt pork in them and, and the bacon or the ham hock, you're like, yeah, I don't know how that's going to taste. What would you want to do starting tomorrow with this stuff? What I would want to do starting tomorrow, starting today, is just yeah. educating people about healthy food. People need to know that this movement is more than just about your own health. It's not just about being a vain vegan. It's also right. about realizing you're impacting the world, and you're also protesting a system that says that you should be fat, sick, hopeless, and nearly dead. Question, I feel like when you take the veil off of people's eyes and then ask them, why are you eating this way instead of eating a healthier way? You know, are you, have you been put in this position? Is this a choice that you made on your own? Why are you doing that? And I feel like yeah. that is a large form of activism. But at a certain point, you can't outrun the truth. Listen to it, let it soak in. And if it moves your heart, then make a choice at your very next meal to become an activist. Protest with us with your very next meal.